Okay, let's uh, do this then. We'll probably be blazing through this. And then I think after we find out who this... Hopefully it's Prince Mush. If it's not, I'll be surprised. But apparently there is some fight. Or, there's a song that it's said apparently you need to fight a certain character. I had to take damage five times. Okay. Um... Is there any badges I want? I'm gonna put that back on. I like how it doesn't lag the game when you put this on and off. He used to do that in the original game. Um, I guess that's fine. kind of unfortunate that I got like one of the more annoying conditions at the start but thankfully I just need them to attack me uh, just in this first round and then we should be good. For a second I was worried that I was going to take damage, but I think I'm going to be fine. Even if they all attack Mario, I think it would have been fine. I don't forget how much health I started with. Maybe we can just finish it with a fire drive. I think Quake Hammer would have worked as well, but... Oh, five coins. Did I make that much before? I wonder if you make more money on the second go around. I don't think it's super necessary. I remember when you're the champion fighting Rockhawk, it's a decent amount of money. I think it was like 30, maybe 50 coins, something like that. But I think it's a hundred here, because I remember in the during chapter three it was hundred coins, so partners go at least twice, okay. We'll have Lyle Birch do his ground pounds. Should be enough to bonk this guy. Oh uh, I remember that you can just knock on the door or interact with the door, and this guy will come out faster so that way you don't have to wait. It is obviously added in this because you couldn't interact with the door. Also, I forgot that you could skip these things, which will make it go by even faster. Let's have... Crown Pound. I personally don't like the change that they added where they you have to wait for SP being filled up. I like the dynamicness of the battles where as you go through certain other actions, you could time it so that you can uh, use a special move and then your SP is still going up 
And now you kind of have to wait for it. It really slows down the battles, which me personally, I'm not a huge fan of. Although battles aren't too difficult in this game. I mean, I might be wrong, but so far, most of these battles have been a breeze. Interesting that this is like still open. I feel like they should have boarded it up. <laughs> I think I can just do fire drive and get rid of these guys. Definitely gonna get the level up. Uh, I think there's like, yeah, there's definitely 14 more people I have to fight. 14 more battles I have to do. I keep thinking there's gonna be a cutscene after one of these fights. I'm still thinking it's like chapter three. I gotta remember it's. It's just like a a beeline for getting first place or championship. Okay, now I can show this off. Okay. Nice little touch there. Because they know how tedious this is. And so they try to make it a little bit better about redoing this. Don't use items, okay? I can still use fire drive. Probably need to go sleep in the bed to get my FP back. Oh, apparently there's a dizzy dial in one of these. Maybe I missed it, or maybe I gotten it already. For some reason I thought there was one in here. Maybe it's only during chapter three? Either that or I got it already. I might have gotten it when I went back to break that super block. But I can't really remember. It's been a couple days since I last recorded, so... That's <laughs> the reason for my memory being bad, that's why. I'm gonna get rid of... This guy. Or he doesn't spawn more... Spinies. I don't think these guys are going to be too much of an issue.
I'll switch to Lyobert. I guess a mini egg. Kind of just going overkill here with <laughs> FP usage, but I mean, if I get it all back after the fight, it's not a big deal of me using it in these fights. heal up. Okay, I think I can just use clock out. You know what, let me use a uh, power lift just to see how it looks like and see if there's any differences. It definitely feels different. Or it looks different and it's kind of uh, slightly throwing me off. I don't know, I didn't move up. Well, it's not <laughs> like stick drift, but I have a pro controller so I might be a little worrying if that was stick drift. Fire drive should do it, but I was never looking to do it now. These bandits are toast. Literally, because they're gonna burn them. That was pretty good. Overkill on those poor bandits, though. I should be using uh, this. Oh well. I don't think Flurry's attack counts as a jump, so I'll have her do it. I guess uh, Yoshi's ground pound would have sufficed too, but I think the jumping only pertains to Mario, just like Hammer only pertains to him too. I get lucky and the uh, Piter goes down. That's fine, we can just finish it with Flurry.
Oh, it's gonna make this fight a little bit more tedious, but it should be fine. Maybe I should swap to Coops? Or how much... I guess I'll swap to Coops. Hopefully I can get enough SP so I can use Quake Hammer to get rid of those guys. I think the only other way is to like super guard these guys. Well, Mario has Super Hammer now, right? So I should have enough attack to hurt them. Okay, never mind. I was worrying for nothing. That looks cool. If I need to be at 11 or 10 for the major leagues. Okay, just the bomb squad and then I can start fighting the major league guys. Okay, I have enough FP to beat them with a fire drive. So I'll just not sleep for this fight. Because if I don't need it, I don't need it. Oh, I didn't notice it before, but it shakes the stage. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that might cause stage hazards to occur. Because I know explosions from Bobbery does, but... I don't know if causing an enemy to explode in general causes stage hazards. Gonna need Lylebert for this fight. Because the only way you can do damage to these two is uh, with Gulp and Super Hammer. Oh, apparently, uh, interesting that they changed their name, or maybe it was the original name in Japan. But they. Before, they used to be called the Armored Harriers, and now they're not. Unless they're called the Armored Harriers here. Yeah, they call them, them here. That's interesting. Interesting that these guys saw the special enemy battle. Oh, that's funny, you can hear Luigi in the audience.
One thing I, I think it would be pretty cool if they did in this version, which I'm pretty sure they're not going to do, but who knows, is that they added more skins in the game, just because I'm, I like to change it up every now and again. You only have four skins. You got Mario, Wario, Waluigi, and Luigi. I wish you could, like, do things to earn skins. I feel like that's a pretty cool reward system for the game, but... It's, I have to say, unfortunately, I don't think the game has a very good reward system. Sometimes it does, and then sometimes it just doesn't feel as good as it should. Also, I kind of wish there was a way to, like, change the Yoshi color. Who are we fighting? Tiny spinies. Uh, I guess I'll have Lylebert doing the job. Uh, I do have 3 BP, which I forgot to uh, equip something before this fight, but I'm pretty sure Lylebert will be able to make a piece of cake out of this fight. Pretty easy fight. Yeah, I think it'd be pretty cool if later on you could change the color of Yoshi. Or maybe in this chapter they could have been a guy who like does like face painting and then he paints your Yoshi for you. It costs money to paint it, but I think it'd be kinda cool. And then later on you can earn different skins for your Yoshi. Like you could have a gold Yoshi. Uh Purple Yoshi. Cause I I freak there's a black Yoshi, there's a white Yoshi. I don't think purple Yoshi is a thing in this game. I think the only time you might see a purple Yoshi. Maybe some of the Yoshi Island games. There's there's like a brown Yoshi in that game, I think. Say no jumping. Use your hammer. Oh man. <laughs> well, if I remember right, the poker faces aren't those the bristles? If so, I'll probably need to use. Uh, yeah, I'll need to use. Actually, we could just guard and then super guard them. Or defend and super guard if I want to be more specific. Because defending is a little bit different than just guarding. Ooh, I'll take that mystery. I don't remember if Russell's gonna attack the back. Timing for it is a little annoying because he's a little bit closer than the other one was. And I can't get it. Okay, uh, I wonder if Lylebert's eggs do enough damage. They don't. So, I don't think I have. Oh, I could do Thunderbolt. There will use some in the Grubba fight, so. If you have a double dip, which I guess you wouldn't be able to get 
unless after chapter five or you go in the pit, but it's pretty deep in the pit. I think it's like floor 60 or something. Uh, Thunderbolts are pretty good because you can do like 10 damage. But I think we already do decent amount of damage already, so maybe it's kind of moot. Also, I didn't realize this before, but it's one of those like clear Game Boys. Pretty sure it's more nostalgic than like the original Game Boys. Cause I know people love seeing those uh, see-through technology. And they still do it too, because I think uh, in jails, whenever they have electronics, they need the electronics, or at least the, like the plastic for the TVs to be see-through. That way they can make sure that nothing is being snuck into the jails. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the monitor in the background being nine different monitors. I hate that like black border around each of them. I hate that in real life too, where a giant monitors just composed of uh, smaller monitors. It just never looks good in my opinion, just because of that black border. I'd rather just have one giant monitor. Although, I can understand it's more difficult to make a monitor that big. And even with projectors, there's still like some graphical fidelity that gets lost. So I would just rather have, uh, have the big monitor or not, because it just looks bad. Also the Think version. I kinda like this one. forgotten to appeal so don't worry about that That turn took a while to finish. Although that is a thing that does happen in the original version of this game too. There's sometimes turns took a long, a long time to finish. Not like too long, but like a little bit longer than they probably should have. For whatever reason, I don't know. I don't know the the game code and why they're taking so long if there's like set amount of time that it's supposed to wait for before going on to the next turn or something like that. Oh, since, since I remember now, I should probably equip stuff. Mm, this damage charge, that's pretty good. I want to hear how different this is, because... Oh my god, yeah, this, this is a completely different vibe. What do you think of this, Lyle Burt? Do you think this original is better, or the new one is better? Definitely the uh, Chinese instruments definitely gives it a different vibe. I'm gonna be honest, I do prefer the new one. 
but the vibe is like totally different. I think for this one I'll switch to Coops. Because if I use Fire Drive and then uh What is it uh his move that attacks everybody? Power Shell. That is a decent amount of damage. Because unfortunately Yoshi can't do good AoE damage until he's ultra rank. I think we might just need a... Uh, I'm not sure if Fire Drive is going to be enough. But we can just have Koops attack regularly then. Hopefully this secret uh, character that I'm going to fight isn't too insanely difficult because these fights are a breeze. I would hope a little stronger than uh what's his name? Rock Rock? But if it's just like Grubba level, that's actually that'd be kind of surprising to me. Or maybe it's a joke fight too, who knows? Like, I would kind of say Bowser was kind of a joke fight. I mean, the whole thing of him being there is kind of funny. And he did. He was kind of strong, but not too strong. Definitely not as strong as when you find him at the end of the game. Although, there, he'll be with Kami Koopa. So. Uh, well, since I'm not really doing anything, I'll just put damage dodge on my partner as well. Mm -hmm. Gotta remember not to attack. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to redo this fight. I could... Uh, clock out because this doesn't damage them, just stuns them. And it says specifically don't damage. By the time it clocks out, the uh, condition should be good to go. I guess I could appeal to get my SP back. That is just a doing useless defense. Shell shields yet. Maybe I'll use the next turn. Is that bad doing the shell shell? I feel like it felt a little different, but overall it wasn't too bad. I'm usually never good at <laughs> shell shield, so seems fine. Oh, 
Oh, I like how the, <laughs> the shield just puffs away. I think it stayed there at the end of the fight. Oh, speaking of, like, extra colors for Yoshi and Mario, I really think it'd be kind of cool if your partners got extra uh, skins as well. Like, if Koops could uh, look like a shady Koopa, get him some shades, colors the shell a little differently. I think that'd be really cool. Same with other party members, like Goombella has a different... Um... Maybe like a outfit for like Goom University or something. And then Flurry can have like actress Flurry or something. I think that'd be really cool. Like there's a special trouble that you need to do with that partner and then they can... And then you help them out with it. I think it'd be kind of cool, but I'm not expecting much. I mean, other than this game being like, uh, other than it just being like a perfect remake, essentially, like everything in the original game was in here. But I think they you change up some dialogue stuff, but other than that, pretty much the same. I like the sound effect too of when the show pops up. make a sound when it goes down. It The sound of it going down though sounds kind of similar to... I think the sound of when you... Uh, I know, Bug Fables, when you get hit and you die. I think it sounds similar to that. Could be wrong though. That sucks. Um, I think for this instance, let me get rid of power plus P, put that and that on, and that'll heal up. Now I just have enough HP to take these attacks. I guess I could check the hammer bros. Oh, I forget you have to go right. Yeah, okay. I think I'll defend. That way I can mitigate a lot of the damage. Maybe attack with Koops because he has defense already. I should not have guarded that. Okay, cool.
One of the few fights it's pretty good where enemies attack both you and your party member. That way it makes that specific condition go by a lot faster. I think I'll uh, take those patches off now. Maybe I should have had Yoshi out. Oh well. It should be fine because I can just uh, Quake Hammer and then Coops and the next turn just. Oh, they're already there. What the heck? <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, I saw water looks like in this game. Uh, from my experience in my hard mode playthrough, <laughs> I'm probably going to be seeing water a lot more than usual. Because <laughs> in that playthrough, I got it a lot more than I've ever gotten it, ever playing uh, TTYD. So, I'm curious how many times I'm going to see it here. This will be the first of many a time I see water. In case you didn't know, water just purifies the status. So, when an enemy is frozen, it thaws them out if they're stopped, it unstops them. So on and so on with other, any other status. Except maybe allergic? Who knows? I kind of wish there was a partner that uh, removes statuses. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of niche, but I mean, they also have some other niche moves that I don't really find useful. I'm going to switch out to, uh, I think Lylebert. Uh, actually... Let's switch to Flurry. I think she's technically the only partner that can do something. If we're gonna let uh, her solo Koopanator. And then we can just have Mario defending him for it, tanking the damage. I think if you super guard this, it counts as you damaging the opponent, so you might fail that if you super guard. Probably going to need to uh, sweet treat just to get some health and FP. I think I'm gonna need to do two more rip locks. Yeah. Oh, I technically have the uh, FP, but I think I'm just gonna sweet treat just for the health then.
Okay, one more turn. I kind of was hoping... Oh, don't do that. I was kind of hoping like, some sort of stage hazard would hit him. That way it'd save me a turn. And I haven't been getting Merle's uh, AXP doubling curse. Kinda crazy that I haven't gotten that yet. I haven't got the uh, coin curse either, but I mean, you're not gonna get that in this chapter. Okay, so if I wanna make this an easy fight, we'll just have Lylebert and then I'll power lift, and he'll do massive damage. Powerlifts is just that good of a special move. Oh, I think that's my dog. I'll go get him real quick. I think if it was Rockhawk, they changed it so that it's just, uh, there's no conditions. They always made it so that it was always one <laughs> special move needed to be done. I don't think it was ever necessary to do that one special move. Curious to see what's gonna happen after this. Rockhawk said he was going to beat up Jolene. I might have worked when he was talking to Grubba, but I mean... Maybe Jolene can fight, who knows. Her brother is Prince Mush, after all. Doesn't one of them call you Jumpman? Where's that Jumpman in the first time you do this like in chapter three not here I forgot We still have the same HP, so it doesn't seem like he actually did change anything. Oh, wow, 3-3. Three, three. Usually that's pretty hard to do. I think they might have made powerlift a little bit easier. I was definitely seeing a lot more up arrows and a lot less uh, poison shrooms. They were a lot more prevalent in the original, so they might have made powerlift even better. It's kind of crazy. He's already had half health. That's crazy. quick. Can we level up again? Wow. I understand the major leaguers had it, like, they give you more XP, but I'm surprised I already leveled up again. 
Hopefully I'm not too over levels for chapter four. Okay, look at him put it on. That's cool. <laughs> 